without giving the game plan away too much, how do you see the fight go in? He stops him. Round and pound. What round? I'm not going to give a round. I never give a round. But it'll be in the season. Yeah. Um, He's not going to give a prediction because I'll ball again. No, yeah. it's, it's not a prediction. I don't want a prediction. No, I just want, how do you see the fight go in? Like, like not, let's not give nothing away. I, I don't think the lad, I think they match up well on the feet. His wrestling is far superior. Yeah. And I think his MMA grappling is far superior. Yeah, I mean... He's just gonna have to be a. He's gonna have to be some sort of fucking superhero to beat me. I know that. I haven't come this far and got got this little got this little ticket to the dance to. Come this now. far to get this far. That's what we see. He's so yeah. Oh, mate, I'm gonna kill him. I, I swear he, to I, God. I, I have little. Re- Boom, we're on, we're live with Wales' number one carp fisherman. Yeah. And soon to be <laughs> UFC fighter over Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> he did have the act, but Shakes has nicked it off yeah, him. Like he nicked everything else, that's why I go away. So this. This, this act is really tight on Oban's head, no. It's the first act I've ever put on with his baggy on mine. He's literally fucking, it's the last time I order something to your house. He <laughs> rings me up, in the wrestling. Oh, fucking yeah, right, so I, I'll take this, yeah. This is for me, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I've sort mine and parks out. I fucking had like three things on. So this is <laughs> I haven't got a gear, t-shirt. I haven't got a t-shirt. Well, nah, I've got the fight gear. He turned up. He just got went to get his kit out the cart of wearing you, and he's brought in the old fisherman jacket rather than fucking, the uh, yeah. rather than the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, we won't go into your background and stuff in there because we we did that last time you yeah. was on. So you last time you was on, you f- you was just before you fought Matt Bonner, which would have been about a year ago. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, what's the swearing now? What's the swearing? Mum <laughs> <laughs> will be filming, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I won't, I won't swear. What, what are we since then? Three, three fights? Dive into it a little bit. So you fought Bonner when yeah, was that? Yeah, I fought Bonner. Um, you went up the middleweight? Up the middleweight, and then I fought Sheehan, yeah. Sheehan, three. Yeah, yeah. Three yeah. So yeah. obviously, mm. net, well, we're a couple of days out from your flight to Vegas for <clears throat> the biggest fight of your, your career, fighting yeah. on the Dana White's Contender Series. Yeah, um, I know. How, how are you feeling in preparation and how are you feeling just in general for it? Yeah, I, f- I feel good. Uh, I feel like this is, I don't know, I, I'm not stressed at all. I don't even feel like I should be really. But obviously, you know, it's like I do, I feel like it's every other fight, like, you know. But I don't, I don't, Yeah. the whole magnitude of this. I feel like I'm dealing with it really well. You seem in a good man. What, what do you play? I don't know, because uh, that's not... You know, we want full transparency. There have been fights where like, you've, you've admitted yourself. Yeah. You've gone into certain fights, very nervous, very yeah. like, you know, I feel like a little again, bit. I always talk about it, is the Flaminas one. Yeah. That's my, like, it kind of haunts me in a good way every time. So I know how I was feeling and what I was thinking. And there was like big stakes by, behind that fight as well. It's like I've kind of carried that through for every... Fisherman Jack. <laughs> Can't take it seriously. <laughs> nah, nah, this is the Fisherman. Yeah, I've kind of carried that through with every fight now, and it's like um, that Sheehan fight was massive. And what were we like in the change? Could you, from, uh, I try and tell people this, but I can't explain it well. What were we like from the change room, even in that holding area? And before, what were we like? Do you know what and, I mean? And I think it's, it's come with a bit of experience with him. I think back, if we go back 18 months, two years, you put a lot of pressure on yourself with. Like, and I, we've had this conversation where, like, he'd say, "I'm gonna finish this fight in a round," and yeah. you know, I'm a great believer that no, nothing wrong with predicting a win, but don't put pressure on. Because, like, I, I, I remember saying on this conversation, time saying, "You might have the best three round fight of your life, but all people will focus on is, oh, he said he'd have him out there in a round." Yeah. I think what you've done, you've you've got a bit more mature. Your training regime, your mindset is a lot better. Taking every fight. One fight at a time, yeah. not looking too far. It, 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 kind of do it one week at a time. And, and now. I'll be honest, like you know the. It's a massive opportunity for you, but I think you fought in bigger pressure environments. There's no bigger pressure environment going out in that um, uh, three arena in Dublin to fight an Irish lad. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That comes with a whole level of experience. And I've always said, oh, man, for years, it's, this is your apprenticeship and all these little stages that we've gone through. You fought a former world champion at 10 days' notice, you had a great win there. You've then gone up the middleweight, which not a lot of people have done, when, particularly when they fought at, at one five five. I just think with every fight, your self belief have grown as well. Yeah, which is a massive, is a massive thing. Do you know what I mean? If you've got that self belief and mindset, 
That's yeah. half the battle then. Do, do yeah. you think it's going to be a weird one fighting? Because there's not going to be like any crowd or anything, is it? Um, there, there, there is a cr- little crowd. I think it's about 400. Have you, oh, did you yeah. fight yeah. in COVID? Did you fight with no crowd? Yeah, but I only fought once. Only once. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it would be that. There, there is a little crowd there, but like I've been, up, I've been to the place. Like maybe, like maybe this fight would be a little bit more. Uh, it would daunting. Feel, yeah, da- yeah, 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 spot on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like because it, it's. I'll be honest, like I I couldn't I couldn't care less. Like it is what it is. Like, like you know, I'm 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 going over there for a sporting competition, and as long as I do shakes and car proud, I don't care. So speaking of foreign spirits, I I quite I've always preferred the crowd, but the, the apex you've been there, you know, it's it's a bit of a weird one to fight them because it's. N- it's almost like an ice stake sparring match because yeah. even with we, yeah, we, it's we, like having a big crowd at the gym yeah. and watching spar. So we, we, mm, we fought there twice, and the once there was no crowd, and then the once we had yeah. like the apex, yeah. everything had opened back up, so you had it's about like, hundred people in there. Yeah. And like you said, it, it's like when, when, when you spar in the gym, and a couple of the the guys from the class after come in to watch. It's a little bit like that, but obviously you're in yeah. four ounces and no shins. And I think it's a good. It's not a bad environment to fight because you're warming up in like a little gym in it. So it's yeah. as if you're warming up in the gym. It's literally a 30 second walk from your changing room to yeah. like there's no olden area or nothing like that. Is no. it? Like obviously ah, when you fight in the, in, in the arena, you've got to go into the olden area the fight before and you know it's... The, the and, and I think building. that big crowd brings a bit of pressure as well, doesn't it? I, I know some people say they feed off it, but I think subconsciously when you're walking out into an arena like the old, the old two or 20,000 people mm. and say 90% of them are willing you to win, that can't even... That can carry a bit of pressure as well. We're out there, go out relaxed. It should be a mirror image of the sparring we've done for the last eight weeks yeah, in the gym. If, if Twenty-four that, foot cage as well. It's the same size cage as what we got in the gym. And if it's that, it's going to be it's going to be easy. Yeah. And I'm, going back to what you said, when there was no one there, it is surreal because you hear everything. The bit, the maddest one for me was Marshman and Strickland, where you just heard every you know them pick and back. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. when you sat there, cage, you heard every shot, every leg kick. And, and it was pretty subdued. Like sometimes the crowd, but people were like just focused. You had Strickland talking all the way through, you know. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. a funny environment. Like, well, and, and found, you said you've got, yeah. you've got to be there to experience I it. I found out when he was in the fight, you can hear your like obviously you can hear your when you fight, then people on you're on the tally, but you can hear like your opponent. You can you land a good shot. You can hear him grunting. You yeah. can hear him breathing. Yeah. You can hear it, but like when there's like say twenty thousand people in your in the arena, you don't really hear it as much. But when you're sitting, like in an empty room like that, you might. You might clinch up, crack them in the body, and you kind of hear like the grunts, and then you can hear their breathing, and yeah. It's, yeah. it strips it back, really, doesn't it? It's, a, it's yeah. like it's a little bit more. But well, I've never done it, but I mean, are you about to? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Today it's all over. Can't yeah, you that's are. It. A week today it's all over. Yeah. So you, yeah, just to jump back a little bit, you fought Matt Bonner um, the last time we had you on. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Well. That, that was probably... That well, was another high-pressure, yeah. big... Up until the Sheehan fight, probably the biggest win for you. Yeah. That was a um, couple of days' notice. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you'd been the middleweight champion. What, what was it? Because we spoke about your thoughts going into the fight last time. But how did you feel after that fight? Oh, it was it felt a bit like um, I shut a lot of people up kind of thing. I got a I got a nice video of after the fight. Oh fuck yeah 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 yeah. I might, I might see if I can find it. Get my eyes stitched. He's he having his stitches back. Oh, on. Was, I've seen the video. He weren't uh, he weren't <laughs> gentle the doctor. Mate. <laughs> Worse than the fight was it? Oh my god. Nah, it did sting. <laughs> Come on, take <laughs> the story. I'm for the video. Oh, my hand. Oh, my hand. No, he said, "Do you want to hold my hand?" I said, "Yeah, go on, hold." Oh my hand. god! I said, "Yeah, go on." But the Welsh gangster holding yeah. someone's hand. I've never laughed like, so much. I was my funny, life. He just it? had three rounds with an absolute savage. The Bonner's a tough, as tough as he can, right? A big, physical, powerful, tough man. And he's on three rounds at once. And he went, "Oh, she go on, hold oh, on." No. <laughs> <laughs> I can still be doing it. I was yeah. having the doctors looking at me saying, Is this what you're doing? Yeah, then. What's that guy? Ma- is it Mark? Oh, that's staying. That's staying. Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> I thought the shot had opened you up. Had cut, like, all no, you've had a cut like that, have you? No, no. Oh, nah, yeah, they fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they hurt, but they're there with no anesthetic. Like, you know, in the, if you get it done in the hospital, they inject the anesthetic in, and that hurts enough. But he was just, obviously, I guess that's what happens in all the fights. But fucking hell. 
Um, and the adrenaline comes down then. Oh my <laughs> god, it was agony. And I had like a, it was just like my my whole head was gonna was hurt then. Oh Jesus. Set, I know you had the fight in between, but that was more of a like you had to fight up at middleweight. Yeah, because another person pulled out on ten days, yeah. the same as it was for Bonner. And just so go jump. Let's we'll just jump straight to the yeah. the Sheehan. Sheehan or Sheenan? Sheehan. 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 He was a good kid, wasn't he? Legit. Was he mm. five and zero, oh, six and zero? Oh. Six and one, I think it is. It was Big, very similar record. Six and two, but six he two. lost to Matt Bonner and then Ian Gary, and then he yeah. won everyone since. He fought Ian Gary. Yeah, he? yeah, fought yeah. Gary. Is, it, right. is he the one then that fought Ian Gary? They fought an amateur on cage wise, no, and they then they fought as a professor. Oh, it was their uh, their pro debut. Debut age. Yeah, like but that, didn't yeah. they fight an amateur before mm. that on like a cage wise and the car? That's why they did the. I don't know, but I, I think so. I mean, looking. They I fought know. on. Um, yeah, they fought three rounds. It was like a tough, tough. It was like. What's that? Um, Another big lad, mine, James. They shot me. So that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Big physical kid, wasn't he? Um, Three thousand odd Iris. Yeah. Like, yeah I, that I, was the best. So, from, like, from a legit we, gym. We as didn't well. touch on it. What, what, how relaxed was I though? Very relaxed, and, and it was, it's an intimidating crowd. We were like pissing about in, t- the, t- in the holding area. Particularly when you fight an Irishman. Um, in that three, you know, the crowd get behind the, the, the fight that we. Yeah, we with. were literally in the holding area, like play fighting, like. Was it? Yeah, proper chill. About, and then shakes was like that. Nah, I'm, I'm so I've never been. What did you say? You said like I've never been. So, you were just like you almost went ah, oh, forget it. Like I've never been so certain. And then I just yeah, just enjoyed enjoyed that. Enjoyed it. Kept but, talking to Sheehan the whole fight. Do you think that's what you need? Is that like chilled environment? Your best walkout as well. Yeah, yeah that was a good walkout. Just yeah. stopping, encouraging the yeah, crowd to yeah. pull you, singing at him. Um, <laughs> I, 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 are we gonna cope with that though? Look, because like it's gonna be like the polar opposite now next week. We're like. Yeah. No, usually like you like to play up on the on the walkout a little bit, don't you? And, and play the 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 heel. Just go full. Obviously, Brock. Yeah. Ne- next week there's gonna be yeah, like yeah, no, yeah. no one in there to play I'm up. Going to. full Brock. <laughs> Just what I end up. It's a mentality, I think. But, so, again, again oh, I think the stakes are here again, so I don't think it'll be a bad thing. And as you said, you backstage in that APAC, it is relaxed. Yeah, you've got, that, yeah. You've got your own little, and it's like a little gym. If you're lucky enough to have the gym, yeah. mm. it's like matted walls and everything. And then it's like, right, you ready? Boom, and he walks straight. And he's just having like a competition. That's very, much, very similar to what it is, isn't it? Like a BGJ. I've done so many of them. I've Wait. done so many of them. I've had my first fight when I was like 11, I think, and I remember you being like, nervous, sick. You know what I mean? And like it, now, it's I've done it for this long, and I'm getting this good. Why should I be stressed? I'm not stressed. Are you looking no, forward I mean, to um, you fly out Saturday? I know you ain't looking forward to it. You can't stand anyway. There's not ten you up late. Oh, I love. Oh, when I went the other day, I loved it. Yeah. What, I can't. what is it to love oh. about Las Vegas? Apart from the sun. Oh man. This is always like wherever you go in the yeah, world. Nah, <laughs> I just didn't. I'm in mean, all. You could take place, him. So. You could take him. We've been to uh, Abu Dhabi. Can't work out where anyone would ever want to go there. He said, "Not for me." Uh, yeah, but it was locked down. I think right. I would go back if it was. You take him to Las Vegas. Yeah. Can't, can't all work out for the life of me why anyone want to come I along couldn't there. for all day. You've got lovely cars everywhere, you've got massive... Oh, go to New York. Oh, I hate New York. Can't for the life New, of me. New York, <laughs> I don't know about New Heat. York because the weather's not the best. Can't is for it? the life of me work out why you don't... No, I, you... Yeah, but for an all day where you wouldn't want to go to New York, fine. Can't work out where no. you want to come, yeah? Me and Park, and yeah, yeah, I'd three fights a day with people in New York. Go to, L- yeah. go to London, go to Canada, go hate to London. Dublin. Hate London. Hate I hate London. London. I hate London as well. It's a right pain in the arse. Yeah, yeah. London, London, London should be flattened and they spread over the countryside. <laughs> London dog shit, I don't think. Just leave the flat. <laughs> yeah, London, yeah, I don't, I don't really like London. So you fly out um, Saturday? Yeah, I love, yeah, I can't wait to Are you staying at the same hotel? We've had a run run with the bloody... Oh, don't even go Because if this was me now, it would be like... So, oh, what you got? Oh right. man, you gotta, gotta be reading your emails. You gotta get organised. You gotta be at my house. I said for that past five now, Friday morning. <laughs> I said we're flying um, ten forty-five a.m. So I booked a parking yesterday. I can't find the flights because that's super list of parks. So it gives you a drop-down box. Oh, really? Can't oh, find this. So I'm like, what's going on here now? Can't find. What they sent us was three flights. We've got a connecting flight, so I only looked at the times what, on, on the, the way b- there. No, on the way back. Oh, okay. So yeah, it said 9.45, that. so just me not reading tidy, not have my glasses on as normal. <laughs> so if I'd have gone up, it's a good job I double-checked again then uh, last night. We'd have been in Heathrow Airport, right, by 7.30am Friday, and we're not flying until 12.45 Saturday afternoon. Do you know what? It's funny you should say this, because my mother was at the house the other, other day, right, yesterday, and <laughs> she said, oh, your dad's going away Friday, and then you ask her, right, I said... God fucking out the M3, I said, because Oban's a drip. I said, 
and shakes and park right? so whenever we go to Vegas or oh, anyway it's like dealing with two OAPs they like I that. got me and your one to Vegas yeah. smooth listen like, right him and park they, they like that um, gotta fill this four minute to come home fill out for me on fill out for me they'll be like right got, got everything ready now to go to Vegas yeah dad got it all got my passport have we printed off the flight tickets <laughs> So you don't need to do it no more. So you don't need to do it no more. You just take your passport. The route yeah. It's all yeah. it's all on the passport. Printed. Yeah, but print it off, he said. Just, it's a, Go they, print it off. I print it off. You can't print it. You, you can't print them off. I printed them off. You haven't printed them off. You printed the flight schedule. You haven't printed your tickets off. I printed them off. You have it printed because you could turn up a bit. If they shut down on Wi Fi, you ain't getting on the plane. They'll ask us at the desk. Well, yeah, exactly. But they'll yes, ask sir. you at the desk. I'm 52 and I've never failed to get into a country because I print stuff you off. You can't listen yeah, to so It's I'm, all on your phone. This now. is why I'm saying to you, you haven't printed the tickets. And what did he off. say about the Esther as well? He was like, blah, 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 about the Esther on the phone. And he says, then he's laughing. He goes, ah, oh, my phone's <laughs> not. Uh, my phone. He said what he downloaded the Esther app, right? So he says, scan your, that your passport. That dinosaur thing. So I you. scan the passport and he goes, this phone is not compatible with this app. Please no, go online and do it. I'm not surprised, to be fair. We've been trying to transfer files over for the last oh, two weeks, haven't like, we? We'll be walking, like, we'll do, no, that is the connecting flight. Like, we'll get off the, like, the connecting flight now. Like, right, boys, we're flying now. We're like, get, get C24. Where's I? You go, all right, follow me. So we walk into the gate now. He's like, I need to go. He goes, you going to right way now? Yeah, but how do you know what's over here? Say on the ceiling, gate C, 20 to 40 this way. Yeah, but how do you know we're not gate? Yeah. Say on my phone. Like, you just, so well, you'll likely get well, lost if you're an answer. He, he has to find, he, he has to know what, what it is. Like, he's a control freak, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have to know, you, yeah, you have to be the one to say, like, oh, yeah, it's down there. Oh, yeah, it's up there. But uh, on a flip, because, like, Back to, back to a serious question. <laughs> when, um, obviously, we we went to Vegas twice for, like, the, the quiet fights being with, with a smaller crowd, and ever since then, we haven't really done a lockdown style. Every fight we've probably cornered since then with him, me, yeah. Brett, have all been big crowds. Oh, yeah. So how do you feel as a coach about going from um, the big shows, like, not, with the big crowds, but does it make a difference? Nah, no, 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 you boys feel the pressure more than, more than me for a, a crowd. I just gotta go do my job. Do you, I don't care about a crowd, do you? I prefer a crowd, I gotta be honest. Like, no, as in like, uh, yeah, I prefer it, but you, 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 you're not there like, oh, there's loads of people there, are you? No, no, but... I could not care less. I, uh, I, I prefer I've always the... been the same. If you I ask... kind of feel like I'm in a bubble. I feel like I'm in like a, like a, I'm like a, I've become like a, like a character. It's like kind of... Yeah, I, mean, I, I know what you mean, but I just find... The energy, the energy, the energy, like the yeah, I do more. love that. Yeah, I, I, like not... one moment for me, just going to you a fight uh, when he fought to me where when he had a guillotine, and I'm, and I'm trying to concentrate, trying to look at the screen to see how deep it is, and then your thumb left and the crowd, uh, and I think yeah. you know when the, cr- the on it, you, I, the TV didn't do it justice. You put your thumb up, and this noise that come through the arena, yeah. and I think Tim Miller has has gone, you know, little things like that, I think. Add to the situation. All the energy. Yeah. Whereas if it's like quiet, would he hang on a little bit longer? Not that I think he'd have caught him, but he's gone out of that crowd. Let's go. We have yeah, to give up on yeah, it. Yeah, little yeah. things like that can be a little read in like a fight it's as well. Obvious, it's yeah. not oh, the, like you know. He's like, oh, it's obviously not on, is it? Yeah, like, and he's not, I don't think. I, I think for me, the, the the biggest thing of the crowd is when you get that win, that reaction off the crowd. It's not the same when it's not there. You know, I think during the fight, I think you boys are so zoned in and shut off. Oh, I've been I, I heard you say, I you say, I've heard you say, wait, I can only hear you shake you speaking. It could be yeah. 20,000 people here, but there's only yeah. one voice I, I pitch into. But you know that, and your arm raise, and you know, whether it be 3,000 people or, t- or 10,000 people or 20,000, that noise is, it's a, it is, and it? it's a buzz. Yeah, yeah. And I say to everybody, we, we, we're junkies to some effect because that's our drug of choice, isn't it? Chasing you know, our eye chasing our yeah. constantly. It lasts a few days, and then you're back in the gym and you're chasing the next one. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that is right. But you know, I, I say to everybody, you can't. You can't explain to somebody that's not been there in that environment. Do you know what I mean? How, um, how much are you looking forward to like an organisation of a UFC fight week in comparison to like a Cage Warriors fight week? Because not a not Cage Warriors, but you kind of got to do everything yourself up until you get the hotel on the I mean, Thursday with, yeah, to with be, the UFC. And that is know. a big deal. That's the big league in it. You know, with, with the UFC, you haven't got to think for yourself. Everything's on it. You, you turn up, 
your flights are sorted. You land in the airport, somebody's there with a the screen, they take yeah. you. Somebody meets you in the hotel, they put you in the room. Somebody gives you a phone number and says, anything goes wrong, anything you need, you give me a call. Yeah. Um, food, you, you, use, you, use, your, use your money for the week. There's a bus going to be going to the supermarket. Your meals will be served at this time. That's not um, bad, isn't it? Once all once finishes weight cut, use, use a package for him to rehydrate. You know, oh, you they give me that? I, 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 I would have thought. Yeah, well. Might be worth you... Um, yeah, drop in George an email and asking him. I'm pretty sure they will, though. But I, I would have thought it'd be in line with they want everything safety wise, the same as UFC. Yeah. yeah. But it yeah, is. They've got the it, sauna, the, the little sit down zip up sauna. Yeah, you'll have it all. Hopefully, yeah, you'll have it all. Hopefully, I won't I don't be know. in there long. They're a massive organisation. There's no personal touch between the big brass and the fighters and the coaches. But the team on the floor, I got nothing. I think the two of us are similar. You can't. Them boys at. You know, we got good. I've been going a long time now since 2016. Was it March? When was March? Yeah, 16. So I'm coming up to eight years of, of working. That's mad. And it, it becomes it? it's familiarity there now as well. Yeah. Like I'm on first name terms with the American guys, with the British. It's two different teams for Europe and, and America. Is it? That old. Yeah, but it, it, and it's good and they're good, aren't they? They got that respect with you as well. If you want extra match in the changing room, we want to go ask you. Bring you extra. Match, yeah, I'll give so. them. You've got to give them credit for that. Like, like you said, there's no real personal touch between like the big brass and the fighters, but the team on the ground. Are in terms of like the fight week team, you know they can't. They, yeah. They, their job in a nutshell is they just basically want you to worry about making weight and fighting. And they, yeah. they don't. They want to take away any of us like they'll give you a number and they say you don't care if you they'll tell you you know I don't care if you ring this number at 3 o'clock in the morning do you reckon they tell everybody that it works for them because I, I, when I had the rules reading for Jeff, Novit- Jeff Novitsky and that uh, Donna yeah and um, for the they were like they were like for almost constantly persuading us to ring them and yeah. they, everybody give the number yeah. Yeah, like, maybe the ones at the top are being like you got to treat them as if you but they, they, you they know, don't what know. they don't want is you turn up on a day and feel a drug test because you took a period then Right? Yeah. As far as you know, shot. Yeah. So it, it, there's no, no such thing as a stupid question. Also, what they don't want is you being substandard on the night because your rehydration hasn't gone well. Yeah. You know, they, they, want, they want the elite of the elite fight in at the best of their capabilities. Yeah, so they yeah, make sure yeah. that everything's in place so that there's a fight there. You're going in there, and when that bell ri- rings to finish the fight, you can't turn around going, oh, well, this went wrong. This, mm-hmm. you know, this was the way I lost. <clears throat> yeah, There's yeah. no excuse. I think they base it on, um, it, it reminds me, it's very similar to like, um, although it's mainly for the Vegas fighters, but it's based on like, you know, like the NFL programs where yeah, yeah, yeah. they've got full-time chefs, yeah. they've got full-time physios, yeah. they've got full-time like training facilities where yeah. they can just turn up Monday. Well, they've got the PI now. Yeah, they? exactly. Just, so the that, UFC that is the Look at the Premier League. Yeah, football, exactly you know, the same. NFL, and I think basketball. That's, that's yeah. what they try and do. They, you know, like you said, it? Man United even, mm-hmm. they, their goal is to, to make the player's life as easy as possible so they can turn up Saturday and, and play yeah. as best they can. Yeah. So it is a good setup and... You'll notice it out there. You know, I dare say you won't need a lot, will you? Because, like you said, you're no. not you're open not to cut a massive amount of weight or whatever. But well, even not. even anything like we've been there, haven't we? And uh, we've we've been like sauntering in, in, a, in a workout room, and we've like rung them and said this room's not warm enough. And yeah. then they've gone to the supermarket so and bought the fucking of ten. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In twenty minutes, and they're plugging fans in all around the room. Oh, yeah, when we was in Fight Island, the so- yeah. we had a portable sauna, steam, and, steam and, and uh, but it broke, didn't it? Yeah. So we rung them and said, "Come get it. We 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 need a new sauna." And we would use the bath in the end, but they brought a new. Within yeah. twenty minutes, they was up. They packed it out and, and brought a new and, one. And, in. and they yeah, take yeah. on board feedback. When we done Abu Dhabi, they use these zip up steam ones. And I was like, "I was like, we can't tell if he's sweating or if he's wet. Do you mean there's steam in there? A sauna is dry." I bet they. I they bet they're it. like, oh, they, oh, he's the fucking, oh, you know, like, he doesn't anymore. give a fuck. We, we was in Vegas, right? This, this is the best story. Yeah. We was in Vegas. Now we'd <laughs> flown out ten days early and we to. Uh, to prep for my first <laughs> fight in Vegas because we didn't know about the time difference. Obviously, yeah. a long flight can hold a bit of weight on you. So then I think we landed on the Thursday. Was it the Thursday? Um, so you're with a PI at the time because of COVID, you had to book your oh, slots. Yeah, it's a good so episode. we booked Friday. Um, it was Easter weekend. We booked Saturday. We tried to book Sunday. Uh, I can't book Sunday. Why? It's the old days. Easter but Sunday. Um, no one will be here. So we've flown out here early so we can train. What do you mean no one will be here? Well, no one will be there. So, you know me, I'm plastic. I'm like, oh, well, we'll have to find the gym. Ah, no, 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 no. no. He said, leave out me. I'm on the run. <laughs> he disappears for 20 minutes. He up. disappears for 20 minutes. He comes back. I spoke to Forrest. He said, it's all sorted. He's going to open up for a Sunday. For- I said, <laughs> I said, Forrest, who? He said, 
Forrest Griffin. Forrest Mack har sendt det til mig, lad os sige. Forrest Mack har sendt det galt, lad os sige. Ah, he's fought the forest. Så det der med Forrest, de sagde. Kan du smage til Forrest with the number of this month? Nå, but listen. You know, they are fully aware, they book your flights. They should be saying, you the PI ain't going to be open on these days. But no, you sound, you sound the forest. PI. Good as gold. You can't use the PI, can you? No. Nah. Can you use the APAC? Why can't you use the PI? They said, did they? Ah, oh, they... I don't know, actually. No, they might... They you'll might, have you'll to find might, out. You'll probably have a workout room in your hotel. We'll have a yeah, workout room. Yeah, you've got a there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You'd be able to find the forest now, you'd be all right. Oh. Give forest a bath. <laughs> we needed the PI last time because everything was in lockdown. Yeah, we did. To be yeah. honest, how they set the hotels up. You don't need to leave the hotel. You'll have a training room. Well, when we went to New York, we didn't need... No, pad work. Unless we're honest... It ain't even a massive amount of pads we'll be doing now. We'll be running and just end the weight down, do the cut. Mm. When we arrive Saturday, oh, we'll it'll be it'll be a bit of fitness. Sunday, when do you weigh in? Monday. So Sunday will be a weight cut day anyway. Yeah, so we we'll are pretty much staying on it. What, oh man, obviously. Go on, Joe. Sorry. What do you go to Vegas for before then? Was that just like promo? They did all, all the promo stuff first, and so now and that's another good thing when you talk about the UFC when they say they want you to come over, and focus on making weight and fighting because they. Flew everybody out again um, uh, to get all the interviews done. Oh, yeah, and so like save the, you the, having to do it this week. This is the filming done that, that plays before the fight, so that's, yeah. you know, thank And God. That, that's given you a bit of familiarity. Yeah, exactly, it, and I've seen, like, them, I've seen all the staff you've and seen that. it, and yeah. it's a big thing. When Marshall was in the UFC, we used to take him, because obviously, like, we, we as a team knew that he was going to get there eventually. <clears> but then when he's arrived at his debut at Copenhagen, and it was an alien. He was used to the staff. He was used to how the hotels were set up. Mm. You know, and the, and these are things that factored in again, being familiar in your environment, part of your apprenticeship. Oh, man, obviously, yeah. um, lifelong dream to be in the UFC, to be a UFC fighter. Yeah. Um, like you said, your first kickboxing fight at 11, or, you know, 20... 25. 25. Mm. Right he, on the he, cusp. He looks older than 25. He does look like 20. He's battle-worn, isn't he? <laughs> one, one fight, he's not holding back. Is he? One fight away, yeah. um, fight away or, yeah. or you know, potentially one good performance away. Yeah. How does it feel like? Well, we know week out, like you said, it was week one last night, was it? Of the cont- or week two. week two, week two last night. So you're one week out. Um, how, how are you feeling? Like not too, not mentally, but how are you feeling? Like in terms of, I feel you know, I'm a week away because I remember when I was waiting for my debut. Yeah, like when we was about to get on a plane, it was kind of like it was real. And it's like right, we're out here to. Shit, here we to, go. To get this done. How would you feel a week out? Cause it's a little bit different for you because with me, I kind of like signed and it was like, right, yeah. the fight's going to happen. Well, so you, you've... No, I don't bit more, bit more yeah, I don't want to put extra pressure on you, but like but obviously you, you in a situation where like, right, I've got to, you've got to basically win and put on a performance to, to get the contract. So yeah. uh, how are you feeling like with that sort of little bit of that? Because it is a bit of extra pressure, I yeah. suppose. Because uh, it's not like... It's not kind of where you can just go out there and make a decision win yeah, and get your contract. You know what I mean? You, you, you were going to go out there thinking, right, I've got a pro on the show, your opponent. You know he's thinking the same thing. Yeah. How, how, are, you, like, how, how are you coping with that? I've, I'm, I, I am personally not stressed about like winning and, and like putting on a show because like, uh, I, I feel like I ac- you know, I feel like I accidentally do that every time anyway, you know what yeah. I mean? And if this is the one where it's boring... And like, you know, like I don't care about anything past winning this fight. You know, that's that's that's. I think, all I think that's key. I think you you've got to go out there that mindset. I think all I'm focused on is winning yeah. winning this yeah. fight. So you can. Talk. Well, you've got, I, I, can I jump in? There? I I, I I'm confident care. because it's for me. It's, I know we, it's a cliche in it, but for me, I think it's been the best six to eight weeks of training we've had with him. There's been no injuries. His mind, yeah, his, that's his mind one of has the been first. in a brilliant place. I haven't had a bollock in once in six weeks. Which is a, a first, and uh, he, like he said, not blown, you know, smart as that, but he is, he is exciting to watch. He, yeah. Not not just his antics on the mic. You watch him fight. He's exciting on the feet. He can rest. He's a good all rounder. And I just think the performance will yeah. come naturally anyway. So yeah, I, I, I'm, com- I'm comfortable. That's what I mean. I feel well, like at the that. end of the day, you, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons as well, because like you said, it, it's all well and good going out there and trying to put on a show. But if, you end up lo- but if you end up losing, done that before, then really? you don't get a contract. Uh, a if, you, if you if if you you could be in a three round fucking barn burner, and lo- lose a decision, yeah. then you kind of back on the cage or you see, and you got to start again. You got to yeah. put another three four wins together. Well, you know the Scottish lad Chris Duncan when he when yeah. he, his opponent was a perfect example. His opponent was doing really well in the fight, 
I think they feed into like uh, Dana giving it the old. Yeah. Oh, I want to see a bro get into a fist fight. Like, right. If you fall him. for that, you fall for anything. You know, like, what I've stayed up and watched the last two weeks to see what yeah. the kind of the, the vibe listen, is. The, the most infamous one is Brendan Lockney, isn't it? Right. Yeah. He's not done too bad on the back end of winning on Dana no. White's contender season. No, right? exactly, he's won yeah. a million pound PFL con. He's probably earned more money than he would ever have dreamed about earning in the UFC yeah, if he'd have true. gone out there and won that fight with a stoppage. Do you want my opinion as well? I think Dana have come under a lot of criticism in recent time because of the lock lane yeah. thing, because of where guys have dominated, because they've wrestled. And, and I've noticed the last two weeks you've given all five wins. Now, I, yeah. haven't, I haven't watched the last yeah, two yeah. weeks, but I've noticed the last two weeks you give all five winners contracts. And look, the one thing, I don't know, did you watch the whole T, the whole TV show? Last night? Yesterday. No. no only yeah, right. So, yeah, well, I've been watching it. I mean, what is, like, he's cut, he's taken into the account of, like, the... The betting underdogs. The, ba- yeah, the backgrounds, yeah. the betting underdogs, yeah. the, the store, like, who the guy is you're fighting. Um, is he a world champion of another no, organization? Is he, is he a killer with, yeah. with his back? So, like, that El Sawadi yeah. beat Hardwick... Sad to see George lose, right? But like, he was the biggest underdog on the card. He was a massive underdog, and he was fighting a killer that had a lot of hype. And like, yeah, it was a good fight, but like, he was gonna if he'd have beat him, he'd have got signed. Like, so yeah. like, there was another there was another fight before that. Um, it was quite a sloppy fight, but because it was yeah. a dog fight and the one guy yeah. was undefeated and that, like, you give it away. So that's so, what I'm saying. I think- like, take like literally the last thing on earth I am concerned about is going out there. And trying Wh- to show off for the and showing yeah. off because I know I'm going to get signed either way. Also, as well, you're fighting a lad that's had twice as many pro fights as you. Yeah, he's a world champion at Octagon, and that's what he'll. So, yeah, exactly. So yeah, the pressure all lands with him. Yeah, in, in, you know, if you're an outsider and you don't know him and you don't know you, you should be going. Well, this guy, he got twice the fights. He's a world champion. Mm. He should win this quite convincingly. Do you know what I mean? You know, for any outsider yeah. looking in. Well, that's so why I think all the pressure is on him. Mm. You go out there, do you. And we're coming away, everybody singing and dancing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Mm. I think, that's all i got to do is turn up and do me. Yeah, because he's had a lot of stick about, like, yeah. wanting to see the knockout, I think. Because let's be real, the contender series now is their, is their primary source of, yeah. of talent, of, yeah. of, of scouting. They're not signing as many guys yeah. off the bat. Like, like, um, But look at George. George Hardwick yeah, like, like, should have walked in. I, I think three, four years ago, he'd have walked into the yeah. UFC yeah. off the back of his last win. Yeah. Like, I think you know. with Cage Warriors, when I was the champion, it was kind of like, at the time, if you was Cage Warriors champion, you was pretty much certified as number one in Europe, without a doubt. Whereas yeah. now, there's, you've got Cage Warriors, Octagon, got a few more. PFL. Yeah. So the talent is, is scattered yeah. nowadays. Even this Hexagon is pushing up. I see them on TV. Yeah, now so what, like but what I'm saying is, like, I know Maurice McKee have just resigned, but Reese is a veteran. I know Lock Lane, uh, not Lock Lane, uh, what's his name? The Irish kid, the bantamweight. Lothran. Lothran. Caelan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's signed, but I know Cal Bonner got a good relationship. But there's not so many, like, you, you, uh, Cage Royce champions getting straight nah. contact. Like you said, look at, look at Hardwick, what was he on, like, six yeah. fight win streak? Eight. Or eight fight win streak, and he had to go through. And three titles. Yeah, yeah. so you I know, think. the title, yeah. defended it twice. I yeah. think because it's, like, the primary source now of scouting new signees, there's a lot more goes into it now yeah. rather than just you got to put on a show and not. I, 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 I'm, I'm, and to be honest, I don't know if that's detrimental. Like, I, I think it's unfair that you know the, the, the easiest and quickest path is to do the, the Dana White thing because it puts a lot of pressure on these boys. Where I think, as you said, if you become a world champion or if you've put a massive run together, you become 12, 13, and 1, 13, you should get in off your own merit. You know what I mean? They, this is why I'm, I think they become a little bit too global. What I will say about PFL is. They've got like specialists in every year. So Dan Dan Hardy's in Europe. They got a Brazilian guy looking after Brazil. They've got a um, North American guy looking after America and, and Canada. You've got a, mm. a guy from India looking after the the Asian environment. You've got somebody in Austria. So there's like a Dan Hardy in every continent yeah. overseeing that venue and going, this this kid by here is the next thing. So for example, like Dan would go, you know, we've got this old man Elliot. He's exciting. He can fight. He can talk. We bring. It. They don't actually have that. There's no. Like European representative is no Australian representative because it's a massive, it's a massive organization. It's a billion yeah, dollar industry. Yeah. It's just so they you, can't keep their eyes on no, the grassroots get, level. If you get in the shell, you're year. in. Yeah. But but I think as well, also you got to remember, like as big as PFL is, it's not the UFC. No, yet. it's not. So no. they have they have got. So why are, why are you actually not doing that? No, but this is my in, this in is my areas. argument on it. They have got to have these scouts because. 99% of fighters out there, they dream of being a UFC yeah, fighter. Yeah. So, so they have got to have these scouts in UK and in India and Brazil where, they, where a guy can go, come here, do you want to fight for a million dollar tournament? So they might go, oh yeah, go on, I'll do that. Yeah. Whereas 
UFC, everyone naturally gravitates and wants to be a UFC fighter anyway. So I think, like you said, like Hardwick, he could probably have gone to, U- to, to PFL and signed a big contract. Yeah. But because yeah. he wants to be in the UFC, was he done? He's kind of seeked them out. Yeah. And probably said to Graham, his manager, yeah. Can you get me in the UFC? Or we, they, they're not locking for nothing. Get you on the contender. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas he probably doesn't need. He probably didn't need to take it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, which, which, which I get. But that's what I'm saying to you. For somebody with George's caliber, twelve and one, world champion, defend himself, fight, fight anyone. You've got to give that kid his due. Yeah. It don't matter who you put in front of him. He turns up and he performs. And then his routine is like. It's like an FA Cup final day then, isn't it? We've got to win that one fight. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind the last but that guy 12 wins he's was good but, as well. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. On the, the flip side of the coin, you know, he've lost again. They know, so yeah. they mm. beg. Not I think he was ready for it then. But then they will beg the argument of, well, if he can't win to get in you, and he doesn't deserve to be in you. I, thought, I, don't, I don't agree with yeah, that. The point, guy but, he thought was good. Yeah. So now he's got to back the draw, but they probably yeah. say you need two or three more yeah. wins. I don't yeah. know, for the right, I don't agree with that. I think he deserved yeah, to get a contract. But, get but they will arg- their, their argument now would be, well, if you can't win the fight to get in you, yeah, I agree you shouldn't yeah, be in you anyway. Yeah. 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 So your opponent, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Kayak Brito. Kike Brito. Kike Brito. Have you watched a lot of him? I know, like you said, he's what, the Octagon. Yeah, well, yeah. Champion. I've seen enough of him. I, I, say I've watched a lot I know of he's, him. he's very, he's very traditional tight in his stand up. Yeah, so he's 16, White stance, 16, 16 wins, 13 knockouts. So that's his game. He's finished obviously. everybody he's fought. Uh, well, he's finished everybody he's beat. Yeah. Six, 13 wins but, by knockout, three by submission. Listen, I can go on and on about this all, all, all day. I've been proven right over the last 10 years so many times. Um, we, we've put our lads against more experienced guys and people go, oh, it's a wrong fight, it's a wrong fight, yeah. you know. But I never look at the record. I look at who's in the record. Yeah. So you can give me somebody who's 20 mm. and old, that don't mean shit to me. Let's have a look who he's beat. Oh, he's beat no one one, he's beat a one and three. Yeah. He's beaten, right? Perfect example for us, um, if we go back to the early days, I can go back with um, Marshman fought the, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I'd watched his MMA fights. He's a great grappler, but he wasn't a brilliant MMA fighter, you know? So I had a lot of criticism. There's no Facebook back in those days. It was the Cage Warriors forums, wasn't it? And people met me saying, oh, you, you manging him out to dry. He's only had four fights. Marshman goes out and dusts him, right? So yeah, yeah. it's not about your record. Same with you with, um, who's, the, who's the French lad there? Uh, Common. Common Day. So I, I message Ian and, and Graham and say, right, I like Jack to fight Common Day. Oh, it's too much too soon. Jack's only 4-0. No. He's 9-2. and two, he? he was he, six fight win streak. Six fight six win streak. Nine. I say, listen, I have watched... His fights, I've looked at who he's beaten. His style is made for Jack. And there was a lot of oppression. And when it was like, I think it's too much. I said, well, I'm the coach. I, I'm telling you, that's the fight we want. Finishes him in a round. So don't read too much into records. No. If I look at who this lad has beat, I don't think there's anybody on there of a one's caliber. Speaking of, speaking of common day, it was seen like his rep. I know he got a mitt, like I was nine and two and I fought. And he got a bit, but it was seen the people he's fought since me. He went, he fought Mason, well... At, Mason, um, he took Mason the distance. At the he, took, he, he took Ari Hardwick the yeah. distance. He took Vashenik the distance. Fucking he fucking fought... He fought like a lightweight. He's fought he a load of... from bantamweight to lightweight, and, he, and he's as tough as nails. Like yeah. Killers row like... But, but styles make fights as well. But, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, but back to the guy you're fighting. So, like... So, does he train in Brazil then? Because he's the... But, but he's the octagon not, Yeah, no, I'm not too sure on that. No, I'm sure it's, it's Germany. Yeah, it's That's European, isn't it? Octagon. Germany is his base. So, you've yeah. had... Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, so you had a good he, look. He's floating him. back and forth. He's also done a bit. Uh, where, where Levi's come from now, Dubai. Okay, they yeah. travel out there and do a little, yeah, bit, yeah. a little bit as well. But you go on talking, and I'm going to get his record up. Just read the picture. But like, you, you know what? We talk about talk about guys with bigger uh, fighting boys with bigger records. Matt Bonner. Yeah, and I was going to fight that Skabinski, and he, he was like 18 and 6. Yeah. Even, um, you know, so... I know you... I know... Uh, you lost, but F- Flaminas. Yeah. You know, like... Well, exactly, yeah. What was I? Four and one. Yeah, four and one. And what four was he, like, fucking nine and, and something? And he was, he was, he was, I think he was eight and three. You know, you... you Ten years older than me. I've been doing this my whole career, fighting boys with bigger records, training with boys more experienced. You've got to be honest, or you'd like to get that one back, wouldn't you? <laughs> Flaminas. You'd, you'd fucking wreck Flaminas. No. I would... You should have wrecked I would him fucking then. wreck. But I messaged him, the, he messaged me the other day, wishing me well. I'm, like, I always, I always think, like, no, I'm not. I'm not in a. I'm not in a. Um, he's a nice guy. Do you know what I mean? He, and he kind of got away with murder that night. I don't want to be arrogant about it. Do you know what though? Right. He, he did. Give him credit where he's due. It's, say you know. Obviously, we we got every 
hope that you go on and get signed next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do, he can well have the title shot, mind. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he, yeah. He, I think he I will think have he will the title shot, yeah. I, I'm going to give you an example, you know. Um, one of his most recent fights, he, bought, he fought a lad, I don't know how to pronounce this, Andrzej Kalasnik, whose record is 9-2. So you think, that's a good win against somebody who's 9-2. and two. But this yeah. is the 9-2. and two. An 0-3, an 0-0, an 0-0, a 3-9, and 9, a 1-1, and 1, a 4-5, and 5, yeah. five a five and oh, 16 and nine and nine and seven and a nine and four that's not a massively competitive bunch of guys you've picked your wins up against yeah, see, yeah. right you know what I mean? the 16 and nine you actually lost two sorry so yeah. you know it's an experienced lad fighting like so you look and go oh he was nine and two guy beat, beat a nine and two guy oh he must be good yeah but the yeah, guy yeah. that he's beaten has got nobody on his record where i think that's a stand-up win for you well look like you cage always is like the the you, you know europe's like kind of best league do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's beaten David Cosmic who's 30 and 11. The guy's lost 11 times. That's no disrespect, but yeah, he knows yeah. what it's like to lose, you know? And a lot of his wins, you know? 20 and 10, 5 and 3, 7 yeah. and 2. You know, Let's it's not, you're saying, you don't look too much into the record. Look at the quality of who, who he's yeah. for. Let's ask you first, and then we'll ask you. Without giving the game plan away too much, how do you see the fight going? He stops him. Round and pound. What round? I'm not going to give a round. I never give a round. But it'll be within the three, obviously. Yeah. Um, He's not going to give a prediction because I'll ball again. No, yeah. it's not a prediction. Win. I don't want a prediction. I just want... How do you see the fight going? Like, like not, that's not give nothing away. I, I don't think the lad... I think they match up well on the feet. Yeah. His wrestling is far superior. Yeah. And I think his MMA grappling is far superior. Yeah, I mean... He's just gonna have to be a. He's gonna have to be some sort of fucking superhero to beat me. I know that. I'm, I haven't come this far and got got this little got this little ticket to the dance to. to we fuck haven't it come up this now. far to get this far. So he's it? so yeah. Oh, mate, I'm gonna kill him. I, I swear he, to I, God. I, I have little reads like when we knew about the fight and we were told not to say anything. And he rings me up. And he says. Oh, he, he, it's out there. He's, he's put it on all over his social media. Yeah, you know, and his pictures of him with the contract. And I'm thinking, well, you you think that's a result? He's Signing lottery, that doesn't yeah. mean anything, you know. Mate. Having your arm raised and having that contract at the end of the fight is what's got. But they were celebrating it like it was some massive win. And for me, I just thought, I don't know, little things like that play on my mind. Like he, he, he got was my fight, he wouldn't have chance in our boys. Simple as that. He ain't got a chance to add if you ask You think me. that's his mountain top, like yeah. For me, like I, I think it was like I made it. I'm fighting on the Dana White contender series. Yeah, that's we're it. looking past this point. Yeah, you know, I haven't spoken to him about it yet, but it's France in two weeks' time. I'm hoping we get him on the Paris card. Oh. <laughs> 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 this fuck, I tell him what. I always dream to see. Oh yeah, dream to see. Nah, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I remember having my debut at the end of September. He was like, ah, yeah, keep me awake. No, no, look, you might give another fight in November. I was like, I don't want to fight in November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll get on the fucking McGregor card or something. I think that's me. Yeah. But, um, I got Don't me. Stop the Party is my evening song. No, I think it'll be, um, what you call a coming out party. And, uh, yeah, that's know, a good he, way he, of putting he's, it. He's faced a lot of adversity. He's, you know, he, he's taken the losses, but the way he's redeemed himself, I mean, your last four fights, I never I, lost I'm his, it. I'm his, biggest crit, I'm his biggest critic. He knows that, right? I met him all the time. I get on his nerves. And rightly so. Right? But how he's, oh. how he has turned up and produced and fight yeah. on fight, I think he's got better with every fight. And as yeah. I said, th- th- for me, I haven't had to shout him once in the last six weeks. No. That's never happened in our career yeah. together. No. I said, it with, I said it with Pete C. Carroll, I think, about, again, about blowing smoke up his ass. but I've said this to him. It's like as if the stars have started to align yeah. for you. You've... Yeah. Re- you've in the space of sort of eighteen months, you've matured massively. You've gone from like, from being like a like a like a twenty two year old or twenty three year old kid to like you're twenty five, and you've matured not physically yeah. but mentally as well. I think he's grown with every win. Your yeah. fights, you're putting it together a lot better. You're not just trying to go out there and start them in thirty seconds. No, you're starting to think right. Well, here's a chance to grapple. Here's a chance to wrestle. You're starting to fight smart. We're like against Sheehan. You know, nick and take downs in the last minute around you never done that. I was um I was like a doctor against him. Yeah, exactly. I, and you know all them little little things you've just touched on, that's building in your your apprenticeship. And mm. I honestly think with this lad, he's a bigger lad than you. I think the flight to Vegas is not nice, is it? You no, know, it's making me. What you on your side is that you pretty much I could get you on weight tomorrow if we needed to be on weight. Yeah, tomorrow. that's true. It won't be the case with him. 
So when we arrive, I don't know if you, think, you might think he's no, no, some, no, some tra- superhero giant. Me, he's not as fucking tra- big as you think he is. Trust he's me, now you say this on, it, you say this he's on weighing every, in at one seventy. Yeah, isn't but he? you say this you on every mean? fight, and I say it to you every time. Yeah. I can tell they're going to be a lot bigger than you. And like. they always are. But, but this, <laughs> this, this is going to be detrimental to him because it's not on his. It's not like as in we going to London or yeah, flying flight, on a yeah. flight. That flight's a that ten hour flight. It is shit. That ten hour flight when I've been here with him at Bantamweight, it's horrific. It's horrific. You have got your weight dialed in. Like I said, we could get off that plane and make weight the following day if we need to. Yeah. I've, that guy definitely wouldn't be able to. No, no chance. He'll need a couple of days to level <laughs> off, get his water levels down in the salt. I've weighed it. I've weighed like the Sunday before fighting in Vegas at 135, 158 mm. on the flight. And I've probably left the UK go. like 152. Yeah. But it's just like the, I don't know what it is. It's like the, the it's thick as a blood and everything. Some of them do that, but like you want that issue. Thick as a blood, you, you you, you limit them what you can eat. Yeah, I get, my, I get my carbs. Yeah. But got, you, you yourself, you, you bang on now. Your weight is where it needs to be. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. And I just think your energy level's on the night. Well, yeah, I just I, feel I, I like... What, you know, I don't be critical of George because I'm his, one of his biggest fans. You know, I've always said he's not part of our team, but he's always somebody I want to do well. But I just felt it was like he was stuck in second gear yesterday after watching that fight. Yeah, I wonder if the, fucking gut for him. If the out. flight and the weight cut had, well had, be had something to do with that, you know? Yeah. Providing yeah. all goes well next week. Say an ideal world when get a contract, get get signed. Mm. Twelve months to today. What was the without looking past him? What's uh, what are you thinking? Debut before the end of the year. Debut next year. End of the yeah, year. Yeah, debut debut, debut before the end of the year. Um, I, I, I think it'll probably be three, three it'll, next year. it'll be yeah, it'll be London. I want to fight in London. That'd be fucking class fighting in UFC London, and then um. I I still, be on that card. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah. a good one as well, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because I've... We'll forget on we've that. had Imagine. Fight Island, but people they forget me and Brett fought on different days. Yeah. I fought on the Wednesday and Brett fought on the Saturday. That'd be mad. So I've never... Yeah. I haven't had a... We've never... We've well, never that'd be the first... That'd be the first... I would love to go back to Abu Dhabi. It'd be yeah. the first fight we do together where uh, we fight on the same card where we're in the same gym. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we did it once, didn't we? Because we, we did it. We did it a few times, but was I was in. The, I was in. I should mean, and you was yeah. uh, the European Grand Prix, wasn't it? Yeah, no, and, and I, I did. And against I did. Uh, when you fought Scott Malone? Yeah, you debuted. That's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I fought on the on the card. Yeah. Um, yeah. Twelve months from now, I. Yeah, I see it going really well. I think I, you'll still be fishing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still no, probably. I think. You could debut comfortably, kind of like you said yeah. before the end of the year. I ain't burning. Yeah, I don't know. You look like a proper fisherman. I can't believe I went. Uh, imagine it. Can we edit like a? Can we edit like a, I can't, I can't it like a uh, fish? Can't wear my cowl back like a rod for us. But uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> who the fuck? Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's, who's a kid on? Uh, who's a kid on? Nasty with Joe. Who's a kid on? Nasty with Joe. Who's a kid on Instagram? 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 Who's a kid on no, no you probably just have luck. You probably got maggots and little yeah, little fish 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 yeah, little mag- stuck in it. It's a lovely jack. Yeah, it's all right. Some yeah. jacks are three sizes too big. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, for yeah. you, that's right. Fuck you that. Like, you took all oh, yeah, I'll have that back off of anything in fit. Oh, mate. You, you, took, the, all, you, you took, the... took all his large and then he stitched it up with the other. I did all. take that out on my kayak down the, down the caravan. Oh, my God. Yeah. But you one more thing about this fucking kayak. Oh, oh he's got a kayak <laughs> now. He's bought a kayak now for down the caravan, right? I said to him the other day, oh, nice. Good shout. I trying to get a pub up. Yeah. Don't want a palbo, but he said, "Trust me, now you want one of these kayaks." <laughs> I love kayaks. No, well. oh, I want a pad. I want a palbo. So when you start saying "trust me now," yeah. that's when you go shut up. I said, "I want a pa- <laughs> I want a pa- I want trust a palbo." Board. I've been palbo. Now nah, I'm telling you, but these kayaks, they're the bollocks. You want to have a sit in one? I said, "Sit on one." Oh, you're I said, "Sit, sit, sit in one." Oh, oh, drone, like, he hasn't even used it yet. He hasn't even took it down there. Kayak? Yeah, it's a sea kayak, is it? I can see me ending up in kayak. No, it is. It's an open top. I'm gonna ring. <laughs> Your mother be like, Jack, you went up like I haven't seen him in two days. You'd be like, I'll get old Jack and I'm paddleboard. Ridiculous. I'd rather kayak to Las Vegas and fly anyway, I'd be honest with oh, you. Oh yeah, it's not a nice flight, is it? Can you remember uh remember the flight to Las Vegas? Or was it in New York a woman was wiping out next? That was Vegas, oh, wasn't it? Vegas. Oh my god, this is sketchy. God. Right, we're on the plane. She goes. 
you fly off then? I'm very nervous. It's sad. I cannot part the swap seats again. Like I end up by this and that. Uh, I'll be all right now. We take off. She starts screaming. Don't she? Oh, I mean screaming. I mean, like, screaming. Ah! So the stewardess comes on. Like, I don't like flight girl. So I said, now the stewardess have leveled her off and she's gone off now. I'm like, you're right. It's all flight. It's 10 hours, isn't it? And all of a sudden we have, what do you call it? Tur- Tur- <laughs> turbulence. She reaches over and grabs my hand. You see, yeah. She goes, Please tell me you're not going to die. Tell me you're not going to die. And I mean, I'm not joking. Mate. It was hysterical, right? I go, no, calm down. It's a turbulence. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Can, can I hold your hand? Can I? I thought, oh, no, you can't hold my hand. I don't know who you are. Like, you know, this is a bit. Older hand, man. Listen, I am the doctor. I am the doctor's hand. So we get there, and it's like 10 hours of it, and it, do you know what I mean? Constant. She gets up, goes to the toilet, <laughs> comes back out. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> In a completely different outfit and a wig on. Fuck and off. Honest to God. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> she had this head scarf on, scruffy as hell, and she, she was off her night screaming, stewardess, I had to sit with her for 10 hours, on and off. And then she comes back, she sits down, she looks at me, I look at her, I go, where's that bird gone? It was her. She had a wig on and a completely different outfit. It can only happen to him. But Probably be insane. Oh, the worst one, mind. We, we, uh, we fly to Los Angeles and we got our flight back to Vegas, Park. Can't have the window seat, but... Always got to have the window seat in it. What car? Yeah. Sit in Why? The Fuck that. I sit in by the window seat. I sit in the middle. Have you seen the film Snatch, Tyrone? Mm. Yeah. Uh, right? Imagine Tyrone and add another 10 stone to him. <laughs> this guy comes now. <laughs> and this is how he's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to sit into the chair now. And his ass is sticking on the angles. And he's going... <laughs> <laughs> Pat and I will come across me. I go, I look at him. Pat, Pat looks at me and just looks out the window like this. Now I go, they come around. Say you need to put your seat back on, sir. Can't get it on. Can't put the seat back on. You should have bought two tickets. Come on, right? I could not get in. the seat back on. Yeah, in. you can't. They yeah. try in. They got two people. Can't get in. Then good job is on the hour. You know if I'd be in the nine hour, I'd rather sit this too. I got to move. I can't sit. His arms across me. Yeah, he starts snoring. Oh God! Oh, God. Right? He's like, He's <laughs> I'd have been gone. <laughs> I'd have been gone. Back as chocolate. <laughs> it's like that when we went. Remember we went to oh. Chicago and your knee was bad. Oh, right, because this was this in the, the this was in the middle of COVID now, man. So you're like, no, that so we got the plane. We were coming home, weren't we? Yeah. So I was like, the plane to the UK is dead. No one's flying. But in the pl- so we have first plane was from Vegas to Chicago. I'm not joking. Like a cattle grid on there now. He's in a knee brace. Oh, you like this? So to trigger it off now to start, I've got this. I've sat in my seat. I'm on the end. I've, I've selected the seat at the end because I'm up and down pissing all the time. Two Tyrone like characters, a man and a woman, are sat inside of me. The bloke now, he, in all fairness, man, he must have been about six foot fucking eight. And he is wiping out big time, getting nasty as well, like, because because he don't want to sit and fucking, I'm thinking, what the fuck's going on by that? So the woman looks at me now, she goes, Will you sit by the window? And he'll sit on the end. And I was just like, no, I fucking want Seth. No, not a chance. I said, no way. I fucking paid for this seat. Yeah, no way. So then he's gone to. He's, he's in a knee brace now. We got a big UFC kit bag. Yeah. So he's gone to put um, it in the bre- in the overhead, and because people take the piss don't they and bring on a fucking roll on bag and a backpack and another bag, there's no room. Obviously, now they clamped on it. So then I'm kicking off in with the air stewardess saying, "Can you?" Because he's sat there now with his leg in a brace, crammed like that with a kit bag on his lap. Because oh, can't put it under the seat, because like, I'm like, oh. can you do something with this bag? And she's yeah. like, oh, I'm um, checking above. It's like, well, whose bags are there? I think, fucking, I don't know, sort it out, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, them, them connecting flights, you'll see this on the way oh. back. They're like a fucking mad But it, it, it's mental. You go out on COVID, so you only get a third of the I plane. quite like the collecting flight on the way back when I just went. Oh, you, you wonder if you sat by Tyrone. <laughs> no, so, I because I, we had a little rest. Yeah, in but the, what I'm saying is, we were just a philosophy of beers. with the airlines then that... You had to sit one in every three seats on the main journey, but it would all cramp in like this. It was madness when it COVID oh, was COVID, made, but when yeah. you look back on their flights and how it was, it was madness. But yeah, come on, Joe, with the questions. Here we go, Phil. Right, uh, we've probably got the most we've ever had, to be fair. Oh, good. Yeah, pretty much. Fucking Let's have a look. <clears throat> right. Got a couple of these are they good as well? Come on, then. What are they? <laughs> What's your WWE WWF Mount Rushmore? How many is that? Five or four? Oh, five. That, five. That is five. We'll all do that. That, that is do outstanding. That well. That's right. Hogan, Flair, they got to go on there regardless. Um, I feel like you've got to go Hogan, Flair, 
The Rock, Stone Cold. I don't know how you can really. One more you got that then. But it's it's four in it. Four. Five. I'm not stretch more in it. Five in it. Oh, go on. Go is five. it five? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, is it four? Like, I go five. five. Let's do top five. Let's do top five. Yeah, for for me, it's hard. If you think about the business itself, I love wrestling. I wish I was a wrestler. If you think about the business itself, like who's done the most for it? Um, but my Mount Rushmore is oh, it's hard. It's so hard. Come on, go one more. Uh, I go Hogan Flair. It's hard to pick between The Rock and Stone Cold. I'd have to do six. One more, how can you do, how can you, you can't. Do? You got to do five. Five. You got one more. You got Hogan Flair, The Rock, Stone Cold. I'll have to do Triple H as well. Triple H. Yeah. You go. Is he me? Yeah. I'll have For to. me, Stone Cold, The Rock, The Undertaker, See. Goldberg. Yeah, got to yeah. be Goldberg. Um, I can't believe you haven't got Hogan or Flair in that. Yeah, they're a bit past. They're a bit. Uh, you know what I mean? A bit gone, like past my generation. I'm just thinking of the ones I used to. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And the fifth one, I would probably say Triple H. Yeah, Triple H is fucking probably Triple H because how long he's been in it. And how he's like the mo- he's like and he's a- still there now. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. Stone Cold, Goldberg, Ric Flair, The Rock. I think he'll have to go with the Undertaker because he had so many yeah. characters, didn't he? Yeah. I would, he, was, I, he was the Undertaker. I would, he was the biker. I would give a special mention to Kane. Yeah, and yeah. the Sting as well. Sting, Sting I was just yeah, Mick Foley Sting. as well. Mick well, like, Foley, Mick Foley got average. How have you not said uh, Hogan? He's, he, yeah, he's before, before. Uh, he was before he my. I started uh, watching when he was a yeah. kid. Was, I've watched yeah. that. Goldberg was massive. I feel like I grew up in the eighties. Yeah. Joe, you, you chiming in on this one or not? Then. I agree. I think I'd have to have like Mysterio and Guerrero on there uh, or something like that. Guerrero, well, because they're like yeah. they're when I was watching. They more anyway. the JBL. Remember all that? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool I got to just go for like the the, the old school, the Kevin business Nash itself. Kevin Nash. Come yeah. on, let's have another one. Who's you? Who's you? Who's you? Always say to me, bad guy. Scott Hall. Scott, Scott Hall. Hall yeah, the NWO, yeah. wasn't it? Do you know what Brock? I'd have to put Brock on it. Yeah, that's why I, when I said Triple A, I come back between. I'd have to my. Yeah, I'd have to go. I yeah. always take it to the street, and on the street, Stone Cold's dusting everybody. I mean, like, yeah, dusting Lesnar. Brock. Yeah, oh, dusting the street. Brock, I mean, on the street. You, you got to say like, the Stone Cold's standard on the concrete. You got to say like I don't know. I guess you could take Triple H out because he's kind of like but you, you, sorry, but you can't for what he's done. So it's like yeah. Yeah, I probably I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take out Triple H and put Brock. Yeah, Brock. Yeah, but I say Triple H because obviously next question we'd be here all day. Aren't we? <laughs> no, yeah. we could do a wrestling. Who's your favourite fighter now and of all time? Favorite fighter now? I already know his old time. Uh, my favorite fighter now? Oh God, I I don't really have one. I really don't have one. No one current. Because I'm kind of in the game. I've kind of stopped being a fan of it. Do you feel like that? No, not really. I do for massive. I enjoy, I think I'm. I don't feel like I'm a fan of this game anymore. Yeah, really. I'm. More, I'm probably. Be, yeah, I would say I'm like I'm a big... fan of boxing. I'm a fan of wrestling because I'm in this. I don't know if I feel like yeah, a fan. Yeah, no, I, w- I would say I'm a... I don't keep up to date. I don't know how people say, on the end of the card. I want. I'm going to be thing is, is Leon because for a British lad to do one. Yeah, so I would, Leon would. Yeah, and then it didn't matter. I, I yeah, sparred him. And then I got two. I got Habib and um, GSP. I would oh, say I would say my current. Um, be. You know, like the current. Even John Jones. You know, like the, yeah, like yeah, the. Cool. Like yeah. Leon, my Leon favorite from, fighter now. Le- what is this? Listen, you've you got to remember as well, my boys. Leon is just John Jones, the pound yeah. for pound best in the world. Yeah, yeah. like current, twice. So it's not a flu. Cu- currently, I, I would say like not so much the newer breed, but like you know, like the older breed that's still about like your John Jones, your Diazes, your yeah. Robbie Lawlers. I would say more. I'm more a fan of that sort yeah. of era mm. than I am. Maybe then, like your style benders and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's like what that. I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, no. My favorite fighter now, Pereira. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's guy. my favorite. That's guy. genuinely a bit. I'm a flat out fan of him. And of all time, it's hard to pick, but I got to say, Jail Sonnen. Yeah. Jail Sonnen, yeah. yeah. Great one, isn't it? Yeah. Pereira, but, oh, I don't Pereira, feel like... I'm a full, full on fanboy of him. He is unbelievable, I think. I love watching him, but I can't connect. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like... I love him. He reminds me of Terminator. Yeah. Back you, know, back you, know, um, <laughs> you know Terminator number oh, two? I love him. Yeah. yeah. It looks a bit he, like Schwarzenegger. He was like the bad guy for it. Just when he, now obviously he's lost a style bender now, and now like they're kind of friends. Like he's yeah. like, everyone loves Pereira now, so he reminds me of the and Terminator. He's the, num- he's the number one He reminds me of Schwarzenegger when he comes back, and he's still the I fucking Terminator, but he's the good guy. He's coming to MMA, and obviously like... He got that 
little fast track, but like he's fought per uh, beat no, no easy route to be. He's beat uh, Adesanya, uh, then he's rematched him straight away, and then he's gone and, and fought Strickland, man, got, which yeah, but he's got yeah. knocked out cold, and he's gone and fought. Yeah, Blahovic. Yeah, well, I, I see well, the post yesterday and defended all of his wrestling. And yeah. it's like, in terms of, like you want to talk about like Mount, Mount Rushmore, they're like we'll look back at Pereira in like combat 10, sports. We'll look back at Pereira in ten years. I think how oh, didn't we? Because they're saying that he was a two weight glory kickboxing world champion, never grappled. He's come to MMA within five fights. He's in the UFC. And you look at his last four now. He's beat Izzy, lost to Izzy, beat Yan. He could very well now fight Yiri. Yeah. Beat Yiri. Knocked out Strickland. He, no, no, but never mind. He's the man. Never mind Strickland. <laughs> he could beat Yiri now, can he? Potentially win the belt. Yeah. He could also beat Jamal Hill style wise. Yeah, yeah. So in five fights, Double he's champion. won the middleweight, lost it, and won the light heavyweight. And mm. he probably retire then. So in, yeah. in probably less than 10, 12 pro fights, yeah, he'd be two weight UFC world it. champion. Like when you talk about if I'm going into this fight, like I like to kind of think about who, if I can't, you know, be myself with the crowd. I'm going to think of myself in my head of being Pereira and Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> like an hybrid. <laughs> Swear to God. You might think I'm nuts. That's a but I'm bit. there. I'm there. Like, I'll be there. I, you know, I'll, I'll just be relaxed and I'll think like, I, and I, do you know what I think? I think, what would Brock do in this situation? Like, what would this do? With, you know, you watch now. What would you watch now? The fuck, I'll come out for the fight. You'll have, you'll have the Pereira Amazon head. Oh, you have yeah. a big fucking sword tattoo on his chest. <laughs> no, no, but I think like, yeah, there's a way you know of of like of how I get through. You, know, you asked me earlier. I didn't really didn't really kind of answer it, but how how I'm dealing with the pressure of yeah, I'm kind of answering this like half hour late. How I deal with the pressure of these situations, right? You might probably think I'm stupid now, I don't know. But I literally will sit in the changing room and think, right, what would, what would, you know, a world check, what would Anderson be doing now? What would, yeah, what, would, well, what would yeah. Nick Diaz be doing? Like, am I just going to sit here and, and, and imagine that I'm just this, still this little boy dreaming about it? Or am I going to like, get on with it? Am I going to be in that club now? And I'm like, what would what would Brock Lesnar do? What would he do? He's just gonna warm up. He's gonna roll his shoulders. He's gonna kick the door down <laughs> and beat the shit out of this <laughs> Brazilian Brazilian man. Next one. Simple as. Right. Probably. Well, that's 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 me. <laughs> Who is the combat sports one liner king? Ric Flair or Chael Sonnen? Oh, it's gotta be Flair. I've been listening to Rip Flair on the Joe Rogan and on Theo Vaughn. If you speak to Chael, right, I've seen it with Chael, with Chael... Chael would say Flair. Pick a, I picked a lot up off Flair. Flair was who yeah. he would try yeah. and... And what I'll say with Chael, and I love Chael, he's fucking brilliant, isn't he? But you know, like Chael and Kobe, they know when they're having the mic time, it's all pre-planned. Mm. If you listen to Rip Flair on Joe Rogan, oh, like that, yeah. he's telling you a lot of it, he said. You know, like, uh, like the Eric yeah. Bischoff scene, you know in WDCW... Him and Eric Bischoff hated each other. They take his clothes off. That was off the cuff. Yeah. You know yeah. when he started taking it, and he's like, Bischoff, you better yeah. turn those lights on because when you come back, yeah. I'm gonna be naked. I'll and be naked like, yeah. when you come and, back. And they like that was off the cuff. They didn't yeah. know what to do because they thought he's gonna get naked. In the uh, when when he's in, have you seen his speech in uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina? I don't know. I'm fucking he does his speech and he's in um, he's in uh, where my, where the what, what's the team? The Bulls. Is it the Bulls? Oh no, where Michael Jordan yeah, the Bulls. played yeah, yeah, but he played college uh basketball in this arena. All oh, right. Um I think that's correct. Yeah, because it's like um he's on about he's calling out Hogan and he says, uh as sure as Michael Jordan was the man in Chapel Hill, I'll be. And everyone goes mad because he's in Chapel Hill and he goes and then he says, uh after I get through with you, you won't want to be like Mike, you want to be like the nature boy. He's class. He even like there's one of them on Instagram, like, I think he's 77 now. <laughs> he's like in a bar boozing, and he's like, like I always tell you, ladies, you'll never be the first, but you can always be next. You know what he does? <laughs> 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 he he's always, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's yeah, flat. flat. What flat. we got, Joe? Come on, let's yeah. roll, roll through him. One was someone put in yesterday was, know you're working on the rails now. Who's your favourite train from Thomas the Tank Engine? I don't know. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who put that in? I don't know. I'll have a look now. Here's a message. Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I'm I don't guessing someone you work with, I would imagine. I don't know. If I, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Whatever. 
Will Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. Willie Valen, Willie Thomas. Scotty Thomas. Thomas, he's the main guy. Have got any yeah. more questions? Just rifle a few off if we have. Is Dana ready for the Welsh gangster? No. What have we brought in here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's screaming at him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I look, he's had, he's he, had. He be like, this is a, this is an experiment, isn't it? Yeah. His coach is spewing just before we come in. He's <laughs> offering out giving the old Logan pause. <laughs> this guy's going nuts. No, what did I say? Did, did I? Did have I? Have you heard a man say, "Trust me now" so much? Oh yeah, <laughs> trust me now. He's like, look at this man. Yeah, um, yeah. I seen on Twitter this 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 like MME Twitter account says he's high on me, and I just said, "Yeah, I'm nuts. I genuinely am nuts, man." Yeah. Come on, next one. <laughs> right What's your favorite ever Brock Lesnar moment? When he number one when he when he spat at a camera <laughs> and he knocked out Frank Mir, and then he said, and then he's getting booed. He's like, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Keep going. And then he says, um, he's sponsored by... By Bud Light. Coors Light. By, like, by, like, by, 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 he's sponsored by Bud Light. Not a Bud Light. A Coors. Yeah, I'm a drink no, of Coors Light. I'm going to go and drink a Coors Light. Because Bud Light won't fucking pay me anything. And hell, I might even go on top of my wife tonight. <laughs> See you all later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No fucking Savage of a man. Exactly. What would Brock do if he was going on a contender series? Would my, he care? Uh, my favourite WWE nah. moment of Brock is when he just absolutely annihilated that kid with one leg. Remember that kid with one leg? <laughs> Brock's, Brock's F5 and his one good leg yeah. into the ring. <laughs> into the ring. Then the big show in the ring collapse. <laughs> yeah. What a pig. Go on, next one. Yeah. Who's your dream fight, past or present? Oh, that's a good question. Um, The one that is takes the least amount of training, the is the easiest on the night, and pays me the most. <laughs> Here we are. I, I'd like to see him in Chael Senna because the verbals would be oh, him, him and Kobe, isn't it? Him and Kobe. Kobe. Oh, no, I'd, I'd love to fight Colby, yeah. Because he, he'd give it, he just, he'd be stuttering and all that and I'd make him look like a right clown. Like. <laughs> he'd grind, it, he'd grind yeah, on I'd you. Make him like a <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just like with a re relaxed banter that he'd be there, buh, 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 buh. you know, he, I know, I know who he's trying to copy. We got the same idol, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So Ooh, yeah, <laughs> be a great build-up, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can't bullshit a bullshit a Colby. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you change your name back to Evil Elliot? Because I I kind of give myself that nickname. Because you had about fucking twelve nicknames and we had to turn to scrap yeah. fucking eleven of them and just stick with a Welsh gangster. Nah, but the the Welsh gangster actually is kind of it was given in a weird way because I didn't I didn't mean to call myself it. I was just reading off a chair or son online. But then, uh, in well, just before I fought McManus, on the I wasn't going to have a nickname. And then the day of the fight, Ian Dean texted me saying, "Are we going with a? Are we going with a nickname?" I said, uh, "I don't know." And he said, "The Welsh Gangster." And I said, "Oh well, yeah, go on." Then. Is it, and yeah. that's like how it kind of officially happened. Same with Gangsters Paradise as well. You got, yeah. But yeah, I told him fucking straight this, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I told him straight. I had on in the car the way. Right? We I told him straight. I said, "Listen to me now. Let me give a bit of advice." He walked out in Ebervale to, to Gangsters Paradise, right? And yeah. it was fucking unbelievable. The crowd was loving it. Not like the yeah. Welsh gangster. The crowd was dancing. I had to meet up palms down, and then the fucking next fight, he walked up to Fifty Cent. I was I'll like, "Tell you why now. I did that." I said, "Fucking whoa!" Let me tell you why I did that. <laughs> I'll tell you why I did that because I got bumped from the co-main event to the prelims, and. It just kind of didn't. I didn't want to have a walkout for that one. I kind of nah, wanted to just go out and get the job done. I told him straight. I was like, "Gangsters Paradise every fight." Oh, well, yeah, it was a fair part, part of the. I think it's yeah, part, part of the, the act. I wanted well. to be. Yeah. I wanted to do Triple H's yeah. theme song for it, right until the day of the fight for Sheehan. And you know, he talked me out of it. Yeah, and it's, it's um, it's part of the character. Like, what was it? Vandalie Silver, yeah. Sandstorm. Yeah, it's like even when I fight, everyone, everyone knows, knows what's, coming. what's coming, kind Ooh. of thing. Even Matthews coming up the country boy, which is in a, a yeah, banger. yeah. But everybody, oh, Matthews, Chael you know. and Daryl Singletary. Yeah. Too There's much so fun. many good ones yeah. in there, and like, well, when that song comes on, they'd be fucking you rather than the other yeah, way yeah, around. Yeah, 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 exactly, mate. Yeah, yeah. You got to do any more, Joe? Yeah, a lot of them are the same, like how are you going to finish him, all that sort of thing. We've, we've, we've had all that, haven't we? Been through all any, that. Any more? Any new taunts planned for the fight? 
What about the I, I, move, I so. don't plan any of my. Are we, are, is it, are we going? We, f- we got the celebration. He's going f f five me. <laughs> <laughs> that would oh, be fucking and awesome. And I won't let up. <laughs> I will fucking drive. <laughs> the Why did it? Dana will be like, "This has been the worst Tuesday night." He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna be laughs> like, just come out, you know. The guy was spewing before he came out. Now he's flexing up our goal and he's just knocked out his coat. <laughs> we got to keep him on for five days while he goes okay, to five America. Fair play, are we going to sell that? He's just had five to cancer victim. <laughs> you make sports out there. <laughs> that's, 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 that'll be the headline. Old Ban Elliot, yeah. F5's cancer victim in the octagon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, F5's elderly God. cancer victim. <laughs> I got even better one. I got even better one. 50 year old cancer victim gets F5 <laughs> in the no. UFC octagon. <laughs> Show survives cancer but dies from F5 celebration. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll put and then yeah, I'll, oh yeah. I, no, I don't plan none of it, but I. I well, we do now. But <laughs> like, like the last one, I just I, what did I, I just said to the camera on the way back. I just I said the man, the myth, the legend. The second half of the year is going to be a better one than the first half of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm confident we're going to. I have a feeling UFC, we've had you a baby. Yeah, what would have been a shit year for me. The last time I come on, I was in the middle of it all. We didn't even so, get to talk about that. And no, I wanted I to talk, talk about, about that. Okay, it. fair but enough. What I'm saying is, this is going to be a brilliant yeah. event. It wants to be a shit 12 months for me. It'll yeah. probably, like you said, have gone from being one of the worst years of your life, but it's got yeah. potential now towards the end of the year to be just the turn it around full circle. And we don't, we, you won't even look back on this year and think cancer. I mean, you'll, you yeah. will, but you'll also think. I owe this to you to get it done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you better add. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we go, last chance to shout out sponsors, anything you want to do like that. Oh, fuck, I'm just... I'm right there. Jim, we've got a bit of editing to do on this one, bud. Have we? Why? <laughs> we have to edit this fucking 10-minute ten, ten gap. Oh, yeah, around, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Wait there, wait there, bud. I'm not fucking missing them out, see. Go keep them happy, bud. Wait there, just get past all the, all the nonsense. All the nudes. Shh. Mate, you know, I'll have shit for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, well, why did he say it then? If he's only joking. Wait there. Is it that one that they seen last night? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I wouldn't even get started. Wait till Lisa Ann finds out about your dirty secrets. <laughs> Wait till Lisa Ann. Come on. Can you Wait there, I'm getting, I'm getting it up. Um, so I got AJ Rail and Civil, Ganymede, Weekend Defender, Lowest Groundworks, Elite Vehicles Direct, Guy and Co Barbers, Green Light Rail and Construction, Flame Protect, Tatami, Tier One, Auto Repairs, Murtha, Daily on Fitness, and Matt Con, Civil Engineering and Groundworks Limited. Shout out to everyone who supports all yeah. Um yeah. because and because it's vital in it for fighters coming up. When yeah, we're not fucking. I literally you know. Um, hopefully, it's the contract and is on the big money, but. You know, at, at, yeah. at the local scene, sponsors are very much needed. Um, other than that, I think we're all done. We wish him all the best. He fights, uh, when's this going up? Joe Thursday. So he's fighting this Tuesday coming now. So um, keep your eyes out. Make sure you support him. And I'm sure we'll have uh, we'll have them both back on for the... Have a uh, fisherman's pause before you finish. Yeah, give us the... Fi- go on, reel the fish in. I don't even know. Reel him in like that. No, it's the other way. You fly fishing now. Just reel that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. And... Uh, don't forget next Tuesday to watch Oban on Dana White Contender Series where he's going to win on Fight Pass a UFC contract for third one for 100%. the gym yeah and boom 2020 will be a wrap yeah peace